He never thought execution would be so difficult. After all, the people in his organization work for him. Nobody else is paying them. When he was in business school, they never even studied execution. They studied strategy. He's been into his plan almost a year. And if he's honest with himself, not much has really changed. So why does this always feel so much harder than it ought to? Because of the enormous amount of energy required to maintain the operation, the day job, what we call the whirlwind, will suffocate the activities needed to execute on the strategy. Think about the strategies that you've seen fail. How do they die? Do they come crashing down with a loud noise or do they die slowly, quietly smothered by the day job? You see, his people aren't stupid or lazy or defiant. The problem is they are busy with what they call the real work. He has also made the mistake, like most creative, ambitious leaders, of trying to pursue too many goals at the same time. And as the numerous priorities become jumbled within the whirlwind, his people lose sight of where they stand. They measure everything, but the numbers are after the fact, lag measures. He feels like he's driving a car by looking out the rearview mirror. His managers spend their days either battling the whirlwind or praying over lag measures. So as people return to their day job, having lost sight of the strategy, they are clearly playing not to lose rather than playing to win. Actually, he is not a bad leader, but he is losing to the whirlwind and it is his fault. There are rules for executing in the face of the whirlwind and unknowingly he is ignoring those rules but they're not ignoring him. We're Franklin Covey, and we've spent the last seven years perfecting the art of execution. There are rules for executing in the face of the whirlwind, four of them to be exact.